called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. And Hubble Telescope took it. In this image, we're looking out from our own galaxy. And there are a couple of stars sitting on our nose, because it's our own galaxy. And one of them is sort of, you see the spiked thing at the bottom center here? That's a star sitting on our nose. Uh, a little to the right and up in the center, that's another spike star that's also sitting on our nose. We're looking, at, like, we're looking through a screen door through these stars and out to the rest of the universe and every other thing on this image, every smudge of every size is an entire galaxy. Like the Milky Way. Each smudge, the smaller ones are just farther away. They're not actually litter, littler, they are farther away. The large ones are nearby, relatively speaking. And this is a tiny patch of the universe on the sky. There are countless thousands of galaxies just in this image alone. And you contemplate this and you say, you ask yourself, could we be alone in the universe? Probably not. Probably not. Look at the sheer scale of this operation here. You can say, are we alone in our galaxy? If, if you want to, okay, fine. But look at all the galaxies. Have we been visited by aliens? You know, I'm just disappointed that if we've been visited, they don't come to like Times Square, you know. They go to Farmer John's backyard or someplace. <laughs> I, I just need better data than that. It's the eyewitness testimony is not cutting it. Uh, we, like, bring me a dead alien, then we, we're good to go on that. Or a better be a live alien. <laughs> then we can talk. Then we're cool. Um, so, you look at this image, and everything I just described, the manufacture of heavy elements in the cores of high-mass stars that explode and produce supernovas scattering their rich ingredients across their galaxy, that is unfolding in every one of these galaxies across the universe. 